We're back, folks. And do I have a story for you? I have got something for you that is going to blow your mind. Because it blew mine yesterday. I was like, damn, bro. Really? Hmm. Well, let's get into it. Mr. Cheeks, me and him, was meditating, doing our meditation session yesterday. And he goes on to start talking just right out the blue. And you know, I always thought that the fallen angels wrote the Bible. I always thought that this fucking piece of shit wrote the Bible. And uh, he was like, well, you know, the Bible was written by Baal. And I was just like, what? And he was just like, the Bible is right in your face. And I was just like thinking to myself like, damn, I thought Gad wrote the Bible. I thought he's the one that wrote that motherfucker. But no, I mean, I've been saying that. And then to even think, I mean, I'm just now getting grounded into this reality that is now being concerned as Kahurst is real now. And uh, I mean, I never would thought in a million years there could ever be a snake man walking around. I thought the shit was a fucking hoax. I mean, that shit didn't make no sense to me. I'm like, there ain't no fucking reptilians nowhere. That's a fucking damn hoax. Well, anywho, he tells me, he says, and this is out the blue, because I thought that the devil wrote the Bible, man. So I was flabbergasted. This is information that I didn't even have myself. There's no way I could have this information. There's just no way I could have it. So he goes on to say, well, you know, it was written by Baal. So then he shows me a visual of it. And I'm thinking like, okay, yeah, that guy, right? The, it's a bull dude, right? So... I'm like, dude, that motherfucker is real too. Okay, so they're all just real now. Like, what the hell? So, I mean, at this point, what else couldn't be true <laughs> at this point? Like, what couldn't be real at this point? So, he's going on to tell me, he says, well, you know, him and Mullick, they need to be destroyed. And I was just like, hmm, interesting. And then he goes, you're the one that's gonna do it. And I was just like, when he said that, dude, I got so excited. <laughs> like, I wasn't even trembling in fear. Like, most motherfuckers would hear some shit like that, and they would just tremble in terror and be like, hell no, there's no way I can do that. Dude, I got excited. I was like, what a great opportunity. Because <laughs> I'm such a fucking crazy motherfucker. I was like, man, what a great fucking opportunity. <laughs> so I realized that that I really am going to save, I'm going to save the fucking world. And that's why everybody is targeting me and all these trolls and shit. Because I didn't even know who the fuck I was my whole life. All these people that are trolling and trying to follow, they already know who I am. I have no fucking clue of this shit. Like these people and the creator sat back and just, you know, she didn't really need to uh, express anything other than you know what i needed to know at the time but uh yeah apparently i'm supposed to destroy these monsters bro i'm supposed to like when they specifically told me don't mess with the mind control people because they're robots they don't even know what the fuck they're doing like most of these people they don't even know that they're presidents they don't even know what's going on like if they sell their soul for power and fame they become whatever they become they don't know what the hell's going on they don't know if they're a singer or a rapper or a rock star or a politician. They have no fucking clue what they're doing. So like a Joe Biden, I mean, depending on his integrity, I don't know who that is in real life. But it's very plausible that Joe Biden is somebody else and he doesn't even know who he is. See what I'm saying? That's just an example. So it was like, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't go throwing, you know, don't go hurt the people. But he's like, look, man, you're going to destroy these monsters. And I was like, wow, no fucking way. What a fucking blessing. <laughs> I'm not even fucking scared. Like, I, I go and look these guys up to, to figure out who my targets are. <laughs> I'm like fucking doing target practice now. Like, how do I destroy these motherfuckers? Like, it's weird. It's like it's some shit right now. So 
now I know who I really am. Like I know my full potential almost. And uh, these motherfuckers didn't want me to know that, what I would be capable of. But uh, apparently, man, this light is extremely powerful and it's silent within. Like even though I did decide to, to have a little celebratory, uh, I ate a veggie pizza yesterday. I'm right back out, my hands are again. It's like I'm so close. That technique that I showed you guys works, man. Like I pushed myself right back out this morning. It was like, it's like, man, this is inevitable. This is like my destiny, you know? So it's and the and the DNA activations are just like going nuts. Like, like they're just popping up everywhere now. Like I looks like I got zits breaking out all over my fucking palm. But anywho. Uh, yeah, this is it, man. This is going to be very interesting. So, if that happens, I would have to be like a super, super being. Like, like a unicorn is like somebody you shouldn't even fuck with. Like, I'm starting to realize, like, like, what the fuck are we, dude? We're like, we're like fucking tanks and shit. Walking around with our guns twisted in a knot. Because we have abilities. I mean, these motherfuckers might be big as Godzilla. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm looking at them on the internet. And I'm like, this owl is bigger than a motherfucker. But if I could destroy his ass, I would have to be, like, super, super powerful. Like, how much more powerful is powerful? It's like, fuck, fuck, dude. That's fucking amazing. A unicorn is somebody that... uh if you enslave, uh, if you uh, indoctrinate, then you got your, you've got, you, you're picking on the wrong species because this species, once uh, alarmed and awakened to their fullest potential, is extremely dangerous. So it's like, what's the point in all that? Like, I wonder, I ponder in my mind, like, who in the hell is stupid enough to mess with a porcupine? And then turn around and get stuck some years later and say, oh, I was messing with porcupines. Like, what the fuck is a unicorn, man? It's like a fucking super badass, like fucking damn. And that's why they love catching us so much because we're just fucking totally badass. And I see it now. And uh, and uh, I didn't know the fucking Baal wrote the fucking Bible. Like I fucking didn't even know that shit. He said, man, the Bible was written by Bao. And I was like, give me a fucking break. You gotta be shitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at the doodle looking this way. He's like, oh, consciousness. Oh, consciousness. Oh, consciousness. Oh, they're all just like, oh, mourn. Yeah, you can feel their presence. If you walk past a big doodle like that, man, it'll make you feel rude. I have to say hi to them, because if I don't, I just feel like I'm being a douchebag. Because <laughs> they're just big than a motherfucker. But yeah, now I see, now I see, man, even more. And now I know why Mr. Cheeks is so hard on me, like, uh, and I appreciate it, I, I need that, you know? Because shit, man, I mean, I was fucking re retarded most of my life. I didn't have any knowledge. And uh, I didn't know who the fuck I was most of my life. But now I know who I am. And uh, wow, what a destiny, huh? He said, I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> I was like, what a great opportunity. <laughs> Immediately, I was steadfast. I was just like, oh, oh really? Oh, oh, oh amazing. So, uh, yeah, I did have a little fun last night. You know, I ate a, what did I eat? I ate a veggie pizza, I drank a smoothie. And what else did I have? I had an egg sandwich. I had an egg sandwich on a bagel with veggies. What else did I have? I'm just letting you guys know that uh, as long as you keep pushing yourself, I'm going to go probably for another two weeks without eating again. But uh, it's a good practice, too, because your body is, like, getting used to, like, saying, you know what, I don't need that stuff. And that's what you want. You want a strong body, man. You want a body that can just put up with this bullshit and be like, I'm done with it. You don't want a weak body. Also... Uh, the veggie pizza was local, so I didn't get it from Domino's or nothing. That veggie pizza was fantastic. It was from a local place. And uh, they make uh, some gourmet stuff that is really, uh, 
uh, not full of toxins to the point to where, you know, like how Domino's, they'll spray the pan and then the crust is already made. It just comes like in a layout and you just lay it on the pan and it's all flammable. Like none of that. It's all tossed dough, like natural, like wheat dough and all that. It's like the bomb. So, yeah. So this morning, I literally like my nose is right back in my canal gland. It feels like a six inch penis sticking out of my head. It's really interesting. It's like, it's really, uh, wow, look at that guy over there. More nose. Uh, and his n friend next to him with the big nose. So these motherfuckers are like super doodles in here. And then you got the rock monster from Never Ending Story right there. Mm -hmm. Where are you at, the rock monster dude? See, it's like it almost breaks up to the point to where you can't really see. But that's the nose right there and the eyes. No. So they're kind of like, uh, wow, look at this dude up here. Interesting. Wow, very fucking cool in here, man. Very, very cool. Very cool to my friend. So yeah, man. I was very like, what the hell? And excited and astounded all at the same time. That Mr. Cheeks, man, he is something else. Well, now I know who I am and I know what my destiny is. And it is not going away. I am not going to be able to not do this. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like this. I'm not gonna not be able to not do it because it's supposed to be. Like, I don't even have a thought in my mind that says that maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Like, you see what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like damn, dude. Like, I'm like totally the guy. Otherwise, somebody gets told some shit like that and they just tremble in fear. Like they just, oh, I can't do that. That's terrifying. Like, that's not even a thought in my mind. See what I mean by like destiny and shit? Like this shit is incredible. So I just wanted to just uh, share that with you guys. And uh, I mean, here comes the trolls, right? <laughs> they're probably really trolls, right? Since they're snake men walking around here. You probably got real trolls on the fucking internet sitting in a lab somewhere underground trolling people and they're really trolls you know what i mean like this place is fucking crazy <laughs> mm -hmm. shit you hear that mm -hmm. so uh yeah amazing amazing story i had to tell y'all because i was so perplexed that uh that I couldn't just not tell you. I had to fucking tell you. Of course, I'm going to tell you everything because this is the the non-chump channel, the non-coward channel. If you're a coward, take off. If you're a troll, you're basically saying, everybody look at his channel. So if you want to keep trolling, then you're just making the numbers go up. And if you're, and if you're, uh, how should I say this? If you think you're fooling me, you're fooling yourself. If you aren't fooling me and you don't realize you're the fool, you're still a fool fooling yourself. Either way it goes, I'm not deceived. I'm not fooled. And I say the same thing over and over again. Folks, when you get awake and you find out your fate, stay awake.